Hey, what's up everybody? Danny Lightning back again with another War Robots video and today I'm on the test server. So it's Saturday, so that it's open today and tomorrow. We're testing out Bohemoth, Phantom, and the Phase Shift model. So first, before we get into the gameplay, I'm going to tell you what I think about everything. Bohemoth is pretty awesome, but he is too slow. He needs to move a lot faster. Okay, we got new paint jobs on all kinds of robots, which is cool too. Alright, so this guy, the Phantom, he's pretty much perfect. I really like the way they got this robot set up. I like the way he plays. I don't think anything needs changed on him. Um, the face shift model. Module. I keep saying model. Why do I say model? The face shift module is... The cooldown is really long now, it's like 40 seconds, and it doesn't last very long. Plus, you turn invisible, so most of the time you can tell, as long as you're close to somebody, you can tell that they're invisible and you know not to shoot them. But robots that are way far out on the field, like if I'm using this guy for long range, I still can't tell if they're invisible or not, and I'm shooting at them and wasting my ammo. I hated, I absolutely hated this module when they first made it, but it's a little better now. But the only problem is, it's still, the cooldown is so long, you, it might save you, and it doesn't last very long. Alright, it doesn't last very long at all. So it's, it's, this is supposed to counter like Ares and Ao Jun and stuff, but it'll counter like a portion of Ares or Ao Jun's damage. And then you got to wait another 40 seconds. So if you got one Ao John or Ares, it takes such a long time. This is not a proper counter. All right, let's go do some gameplay. Someone invited me to a squad, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna join. I'm just trying to make a video here. Earlier on my first match I played today, some dummy had a low key on the aircraft carrier, and he jumped over into the back where. You know, the uh, propellers or whatever you want to call them are that make it hover. And he just sat back there in the entire match. So I jumped back there with my raven and I pushed him off the edge and killed him. I mean, why, why, why would you do that? I mean, is that fun just to like sit back there and do nothing in the entire match? I mean, why? One thing I noticed though is the load in times today seem to be pretty long. Which is kind of annoying, but I still don't think this phase shift should go live, but I'm, I almost guarantee it's going to. But the way they got it set up now, it, it's just kind of okay. It's not really, it's not like it was at first. At first, I thought it was really terrible, but I guess it's not so bad now. I still don't like it. I think it's a dumb module, but you know, I mean, some people probably think it's great. Now, as far as the Phantom goes, I really, really like this robot up, robot a lot. I would like to have one of these. I think I would rather have this than, like, the Ares or something, to tell you the truth. It's more fun to play. I mean, the Ares is definitely more deadly, but I like robots that are fun. And this one's, like, really functional. The only problem is, you know, they're going to make it really cool at first, and they're probably going to nerf it, so... And then it's going to be no good. I mean, Spectre is pretty much like trash right now, especially after the Orkin nerf. They're, they're nerfing the Orkins, and I think they're erf nerfing the Turans. I'm almost at two minutes to get in here. This is ridiculous. But they're going to nerf the Orkins, and they're gonna ner going to nerf the Turans. And I guess Spectre is still valid if you want to put, like, Hydras on there, or if you want to put... Uh, um, Scourges on there. Something long ranged, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and start off with the Phantom. That was a really long load in time, but at least I hopefully I keep you entertained with my talking before uh, before that starts. So let's run over here and grab this. But I'm very happy with the Phantom's performance overall. So let's grab this beacon, and then we're going to go ahead for this one. Alright. I'm just going to go ahead and use that phase shift right now, since I'm being shot at. Now I'm going to use my ability. So if I need to get out of here, I can retreat. I 
still got a few seconds left if I need to use it, which I really don't, so... Ooh! Get someone out of nowhere, and unfortunately... I probably should have used it to get out of there. Alright, I'm gonna use it here right now. Let's go ahead and try and freak take that guy out. Check that out. So you can some I use use it to escape, but since I was in that, that situation, I actually used it to confuse my enemy. Took that guy out. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. You can't use your weapons anymore when you're in this mode, which is good. All right, since you can't use your weapons, that makes this so much better. And they just killed me. All right, let's bring in the long-range behemoth. This guy is a beast, but he's so slow. I mean. I would love to have this guy if he was faster. As of right now, I, I can't stand the slow robots anymore. Everything moves so fast now, and then you have something this slow, and it's just like it takes too long. It just takes too long to get from point A to point B or something like this. But he has major firepower. Now with the Fluxus, with this crazy long range, I'm going to go ahead and phase shift to get out of there. Alright, as soon as he lands, I'm going to try and blast him when he comes out in the open at least. Come on, buddy. Perfect. He was not aware of his surroundings, I'll tell you that much. Now, these weapons do recharge even when they're not in use, which is cool. The Falcon was always the same way. The weapons on his back will recharge even if you're not using them. Some of the robots, that doesn't happen. Like, I think on the, uh, Fenrir, I don't think that happens. I'm probably not even pronouncing that correctly. Alright, let's try and get this guy when he lands. Okay, he went back behind cover. I guess I'll come out here and me and this guy will take this beacon. We don't really need it because we've already got four of the five beacons, but... Go. Let's blast on this guy. And he's got last stand. I believe that's what that is. And he's using his face shift. I can see that he's invisible. I'm going to use my face shift because here comes a bunch of people. And he just teleported out of there. Ship and somebody's got a purple shield over there. Alright, here comes somebody. Alright, let's blast him. And he teleported out. And I guess we won that battle. So let's go play another one. Hopefully we don't have a two minute load in this time. So I'm probably just going to do one more match and then I'm going to call it quits on this video. And then fill out all the paperwork to raid everything. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Raven today. This one was actually in my hangar. So I don't know if we're supposed to still be testing the Raven out. Because they changed his ability and all that or not. But it doesn't say anything about testing him out. But since he's in the hangar it kind of makes me wonder. <laughs> Sometimes they don't tell you what you're supposed to be testing and then there's like questions about a specific robot. Hey, how did you like this or how did you like that? And I'm just like, well, how am I supposed to know? You never told me I was supposed to test it. But this guy's got a lot of firepower. And he can really jump. I was hoping to get over here in time. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use my invisibility because I'm probably gonna die. So let ooh, that didn't work. See, that's the one thing about the Raven though is he cannot take a hit. I would love the Raven if it had a little more hit points. The ability is awesome. The weapon slots are awesome. It just can't take a hit. It's a very weak robot. It can do a lot of damage. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here. It looks like we got that bag, which is cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and shift out of here before I get killed. And I'm stuck. I can't move for some reason. I was trying to go left, and I couldn't even go left. I'm gonna use that ability to escape because I was having some difficulties there. I've noticed today a lot of the times when I try to move, it's like the legs get stuck. And we're about to lose our beacon, so I guess I'm gonna run in, even if it's a bad idea. I'm gonna try and take this. Hopefully I can get it. Oh, I gotta teleport out, because they're gonna kill me. This guy would really be better with the healing module than the phase shift, I think. Ooh, we got a healer over here. That's good for me. So I'm going to run in here and try and grab this, maybe. Alright, let's go ahead and phase shift. And then, as soon as we get it, perfect. I'm going to... Crap, I waited too long. I was going to teleport out, but... I, I guess I hit the teleport button just to a second too late, and thanks to that, I have died. Alright, I see there's people over here taking our beacon. I'm getting my butt kicked all of a sudden before I can even get into the game. I can't move again. My legs won't move. There they go. guy could use a little more hit points, I think. He's a little too weak. He does have a lot of firepower, but he's a weak robot. I wonder where the best place to position yourself for a sniper is on this map. There's too many obstacles on this map for sniping. Look how slow he is. That's that's just boring. It's like it just takes way too long to get across the map. So I would definitely suggest if they keep him this slow, I would probably only want to play this guy with the longer range weapons because it's just not fun moving that slow. But he does have a nice amount of fire. I should have probably put Vipers on here instead of Avengers on my other one because the uh, Avengers only do the do big damage when they get up close. So on this robot, Vipers would probably be a better choice. And that guy's got last stand or something, so I'm gonna move out of this position. There's somebody I can get, maybe. And he's in a spot where I can't quite hit him. Alright, so I need to move again. Let me drop down here. Got last stand, I think. He got away. Come on out. That's right. That must be your traditionalist falcon. I'm gonna go ahead and do this when my weapons recharge. Let's see if I can get this guy. Probably not. He's going to take me out, I can tell, so... Bohemoth is definitely not a brawler. He's more of a long-ranged sniper-type robot. I believe that's that falcon right there. I guess I'm just going to come down here and... take a couple guys out. I 
can't hit him because my teammate's in the way. Come on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. And I've died. So that's pretty much it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and leave this battle, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.